Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created a wireless music controller uh, to play my music like Amazon Music, Plex or Apple Music um, running in my Windows computer and it looks something like this. Now it might look similar because there are products out there from like Amazon and uh, AliExpress um, that has this volume knobs that you could buy for like maybe $15 or so. Uh, the problem is I could not find anything that is wireless. Um, and the reason why I need this is for my, I built this um, smart display uh, way back and I use it to uh, as a weather station um, to read the news, um, watch some videos, uh, but mainly I use it a lot uh, to play my music. Um, and so it's connected to my Sonos One, um, which is located in my office, which is about eight feet away. And often I found that I need to go back to the smart display to either post music or uh, adjust the volume or play the next track or previous track um, and so i wanted a way to control my music player without having to go back there um, and so i figured that i wanted something that's wireless and since i couldn't find anything out there i decided to build one and i used a uh, a wireless mouse so i ordered this uh, wireless mouse from AliExpress, which costs about you know less than three dollars, and also the the volume knob. Uh, this, by the way, is aluminum. It costs about a dollar fifty or two dollars from from AliExpress, also, which is pretty cheap. Uh, so overall, um, minus the uh, the 3D printed part here, uh, it's probably going to cost you like less than five dollars to do it. Um, but anyway. So the first thing I did is, you know, after I bought that, is I had to disassemble the mouse and uh, I desoldered the rotary encoder of that mouse and attached some cables to it um, so that I could reposition it from the vertical position to a horizontal position, which kind of like looks like this now. So pretty much this one, what it does is, you know, this is what controls the volume. And this is the, the left, oh, sorry, this is the left mouse button and this is the right mouse button uh, so this this little buttons here are actually just glue sticks that I cut and so I, I kind of like use them as triggers uh, for the left and right mouse button and then this this uh, the the um, volume knob actually you could press it see that you could press it and uh, it, it plays and pause the uh, the music um, so if I open this up This is pretty much, I just repositioned the components with the battery, the board, and the knob. And so that's 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 the wire right there that I, I had to extend. Um, and if you look at the, in this view, uh, these things that you see are just double-sided tapes that you can buy from any store, like a Dollar Tree store. And I use that for a couple of two purposes. One is to keep the volume knob somewhat in a level position. Uh, so that it kind of like doesn't wobble when I press it also. And the second part is the third mouse wheel button is right there. So I could kind of like press it and then that will play and pause the music. Um, and then uh, that's pretty much it. You know, you could just, you know, there's there's this slot that I kept out there so that I could charge the, the mouse. And, you know, it's pretty, pretty easy. Just put it on top. And, and that's it um, for the hardware part. For the software part, I used two programs. Uh, one is called Volume Mouse, and I use that primarily to control the volume. I like it because it has this large display that kind of like shows at the bottom of your screen and says, well, you know, the volume. So I like that UI. So I, I use Volume Mouse just for that purpose. Um, and then the second one is called X mouse button control. And that one is, is a very flexible app, uh, program uh, and you could remap the buttons. So I, I use it to remap the left, the right, 
and the, the middle mouse button to do the, the pretty much like, you know, play the next track, play the previous track or play and pause the music. Um, and then, yeah, um, once that's all installed in your computer and configured, um, you know, it should just work like any other mouse control if, you, if you're using a mouse, uh, but with this nice uh, reconfigured form factor. So I, I just placed this like, you know, near my office desk and then I, uh, you know, I could play and pause my music as whatever I need to do with it. Um, yeah, and that's it. Well, I hope you uh, you enjoyed uh, this little project and uh, let me know in the comments if, 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 well, let me know if you have any comments to, to improve it. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.